Welcome back once again. So I am in my Arctic Fox 992 truck camper. I'm going to show you something I've done to the microwave. There's two reasons that you might want to do this modification. I primarily do it so I can conserve power when I'm running on inverter power because the microwave will draw just a little bit of power to run the clock all the time when you have the inverter on. Another reason you might want to do it is to eliminate that glowing green light, or in some cases it's blue, if your microwave is visible from your bed area. So in the 992 truck camper, it is completely hidden. In my 811 truck camper, the microwave would have been visible from the bed and it would emanate a little glow on the ceiling and on the opposite wall and sort of light up the, the kitchen area, which of course was visible from the bed because in an 811, the entire front area is open and then the kitchen would be over on this side. So what that modification is, is I take out the original outlet that the microwave is plugged into and I install a combination switch and outlet. So what that switch does is it lets me turn off the microwave. Granted, you could just as easily unplug it, but for some people it might be kind of difficult to reach up that high. The original outlet does not have an electrical box. It's your typical RV style outlet that's fully enclosed and has a little cover on the back that snaps over the wire connections. So what I've done here is pulled out that outlet. I think I might have had to enlarge the hole just a little bit. I just used a utility razor knife to do that if I did need to do that at all. And I installed what's called a old work box or I usually call it a remodel box. So that box has little wings on it and you, when you tighten down a Phillips head screw, the wings sort of swing out and clamp onto the surface where the box is mounted. So one of the things you want to do before you do this upgrade is see if you've got clearance behind or next to your microwave. So if we look here, you can see that the outlet is mounted higher than the top of my microwave. And if we look here, I do have plenty of space here next to the microwave if my outlet happened to be mounted lower. In most cases, Northwood Manufacturing mounts that outlet up high because this cabinet is also configured where you could put a convection style microwave in it. And the convection style is taller and just a little bit wider. So there's this removable panel right here. And then there's another removable strip right here. So if a person had a convection style microwave, these two would probably would not be in place. Definitely not the side panel. I actually considered upgrading to a convection and I would have had to have taken that panel out. But for my situation, it's not an issue at all as far as clearance because my outlet is mounted up higher than the, the level of the microwave. Here's a quick shot of the box pulled out of the, the cabinet. So here's the little side wings that I was talking about. So as you tighten up that Phillips screw, it flips the wing up like this. And then the tighter you get the screw, then it moves this little wing towards the front of the box and then sandwiches against your mounting surface to hold it secure. There are a couple of different ways that you can wire up these switches and outlets. I have mine wired so that the switch controls the outlet, which I mentioned earlier. Check with the little instruction booklet that came with your switch outlet combo to see how to wire it. But in the case of mine, we have the black wire 
the hot, which is the hot wire that connects to the brass colored screw and then my neutral connects to the silver colored screw and then of course my ground is connected there at the bottom. When I have my RV stored at home, I leave it plugged in all the time. So in scenarios like that, there's absolutely no reason to have that microwave powered up all the time. So that would be another good case example of where that switch would be useful.